So guys, he King here bringing you a uh, manga reaction to let's see what are we going to react to. Hmm. Don't think the internet is working today. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, no, it's working. It's working. It's working gloriously or as gloriously as it can be. Okay, so One Piece chapter came out yesterday, chapter 1078. Or 1,078. Escape limit. Alright, let's read it then. Um, Gemmer 66. So we got, uh, what's see, Caesar and uh, Judge. Gemmer 66, Cold-Blooded Voyage, Volume 33. And so, Neomads was formed. Neomads. So, Neomads. Okay, so we've been going through this backstory. We've seen some of the flashbacks with these guys. You know, Queen, Caesar, and Judge. And they used to be called Mads, with Vegapunk included, and now it seems that they've just formed Neo Mads, or New Mads, if you will. Interesting. So these guys are going to be working together the next time we see them. Caesar has joined Germa 66. Okay. Interesting development. Uh, Older has left uh, a comment here. I thought I didn't know anything about Chikawawa, Chikawawa, but it turns out that I've been using Na Nagano Sun stamps online for ages. I publicly admit defeat. I don't know what that's about, but okay. So yeah, where do we leave off with, with One Piece then? Um, Luffy and Zoro joined forces with Luchi and uh, Kuzu, is it, uh, to fight off the uh, S. The Sephirophytes, or uh, you want to call them, right? The child versions of those uh, of the warlords. And I think they were taking on uh, Espear, so Bartholomew's Bartholom Bartholom uh, child version. And I, and then I think it was discovered that the real Vegapunk was, or has been sealed away the whole time with a bunch of survivors from the, uh, from the government that came to investigate like weeks or months ago and they're all trapped in this casing and there's there's a traitor basically there's a traitor we don't know who the traitor is bonnie is going through her father's memories and we discovered that uh his powers are not like they're, they're, they're to do with memories essentially so she's going through that and she's discovering certain truths um and yeah, things are just, it's just utter chaos. And I think last chapter ended with one of the uh, Vegapunks getting shot in the head as he discovered the real Vegapunk and the, and, and, and the you know, the world government people in there. So yeah, who's the traitor? I don't know, but uh, let's go through this. Let's go through this. So Lab Interior Egghead, the island of the future. Who's on the other end of the line? So we got, what's his name? Uncle Kizaru's coming here. So we got, uh, 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 I don't even know his name. Suramoto Sur or whatever his name is. So it's, Second floor building B, F1, F2, F3, F4, so we're on, so we're on F2 now. Uh, in uh, well, F2 floor of building B, so that's right. So this, that's Sterling, she's with Jubei. CPO was meant to wait for his arrival after eliminating the doctor. The government's pulling out all the stops, huh? Indeed. I think they consider this incident to be far more severe than all horror. So yeah, they're gonna, they wanna wipe this place out, don't they? For one, the Doctor not only continued the Scholar's forbidden research, he's taken it much further. Second, unlike Ohara, Egghead actually has formidable combative and defensive capabilities. When you put it like that, it's no surprise they're coming loaded for bear. Call me if there's any developments. All the other transponders on the Lambo str Struntum are down. Okay. Okay, interesting. Factory A, Fabrio Struntum. So, Kerchang, what's going on? So, who's this? You heard the lady. The Navy's going to try and repeat history here, so learn from it. You can't afford to hesitate. So, he's telling everyone to evacuate, I guess, Centomorrow. That's his name, isn't it? Centomorrow. He's telling everyone to evacuate. Uh, prepare the ships. We need to get off the island quickly before the Marine show. Listen to Centomorrow, son. Okay, yeah, I got, I got it right there. Centomorrow, yeah. Third floor lab, building C. So, we're cut we're into Usup and Lilith. You damn brats. And there's, oh, that's right. They were fighting the, the S uh, snake, Hancock's version. And she just turned Lilith and Usopp into stone. And she's turned half of Frankie's body into stone as well. So, yeah, this is an unexpected development. Um, and apparently all the uh, all the uh, Sephirites are based on King, essentially. Like, they, they, they somehow took his abilities and implant, implemented it into them. And some of them, including, like, S. Hawk, if you will, Hawkeye's, Sephirite, he's got like um, Mr. Two's abilities, like the the swords and that. So yeah, multiple different Devil Fruit abilities being implemented here. 
Yeah, but you damn right. Even if my right side's frozen solid, my left can still pack a punch. You're stuck. You're not going to be able to do anything. If you repent, I'll let you off easy. Let her... Uh-oh. Is this one of the... Yeah, I think it's one of the bigger pugs. Uh, it's just the head, though. Uh, Snake, who ordered you to do this? Oh, she's going to crush him. And she did. Pythagoras. Yeah, is he, is he dead? Yeah, it looks like it. There's an explosion... Uh, wait, I said wait. What's going on? Second floor building A. So now we're with Robin and Chopper and uh, uh, the bigger Vega Punk. Um, all those screams and explosions. I hope everyone's all right. I tried checking. It seems the uh, Seraph Syrup uh, Syrup him Syrup him is that you pronounce it? Syrup him or running amok? You're mistaken. That doesn't make any sense. One thing's for sure, when Nami screams a certain someone, will always dash to her in an instant. Yeah, that's right, because, um... Because, yeah, Nami was fighting Jubei, and the s Jubei, if you will, and, uh, S-Shark, and, uh, Sanji came in, clutch, and saved Nami's life, so, yeah. We should focus. I bet everyone's pinned down. Since they're all fighting, what if something happens to Vegapunk, Vegapunk's main body while they're distracted? Ah, oh, good point. Uh, that reminds me, there's a room that's been sealed off for a while now. I wrote it off since the place isn't very useful, but maybe. We should go and check. Lead the way, Atlas. So yeah, Atlas said that. I think it's the room where, where Vegapunk is locked up. So yeah, she's going to lead them there now. And now we're cutting to third floor building A. With, uh, and we're, yeah, with, we're with Nami and Brooke. And was it Edison? Hang in there. Edison? So yeah, Vegapunk 3. Edison, hang in there. Uh well, I'm off to scout for Vegapunk, so that's Brooke saying that in his little ghostly form. Wait, Sanji, wait, Sanji son, look out. Yeah, Sanji is. F oh, he took the punch from S Shark, damn. Don't act so surprised, this is the undying power of love. Sanji, you need to block, mate. Uh, Fourth floor building A, I'm gonna cut into Luffy and Zoro, and obviously, <laughs> um, I'm assuming Luchi and Guzu. Oh, damn those flames. Why aren't their backs going out? There was a great moment where Zoro was like, he's looking at these guys and he's like, oh, yeah, they resemble King, by the way. And everyone just, even Luffy was like, why didn't you tell us sooner? Like, like you knew this info and you, and it now, it, it, you now just realize it? Like, uh, why aren't their backs? Yeah, because apparently he said that, uh, that the, they, the fire needs to go out before if they're able to wound them. Uh, and Luffy's like, F forget that. Where the heck did the Hawkeye guy, uh, looking guy go? <laughs> Uh, and then he must have ran off, and yeah, Lu yeah, the other two are still there, Luchi and Kuzu. Odds are he's, prior he's reprioritized the order of his targets. He could be focusing on fitting the herd, saving the toughest for last. Eliminating your weaker friends would rattle your stronger fighters and handicap them. I'll chase him, and Zora's like, I'll chase him down, Zora. So instead of getting Zora versus a Mihawk, maybe maybe we're, uh, like in the future or whatever, like... It, it, it ends up just being with Zoro versus S Hawk. Why you know does like, this camera keep turning off? Like it hates me. It hates me. So yeah, uh, and now Luffy's turning to Kuzu. Go quick and help him, Usopp. That's that's not before he gets lost. Man, what a bother. Slow down, Morona. Gum gum. Wait, who are you calling? Yeah, now he's like, who are you calling Usopp? Yeah, it's that's not Usopp. I know he's got a big nose, but uh, come on, man. It's it's more square shaped. Like. You're racist. You're racist to people with long noses. Yeah, you think they all look the same. Like Luffy, man. I'm, 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 I'm disappointed in you. Come on. <laughs> no, uh, Hawk Gatling. So he's going all out on Espear. I'll, I'll blast that fire away. And Luffy's like, use your pathetic brain straw hat. It doesn't matter how many times you try hitting it. That won't work. It's so crazy to see these, like, f two, four guys working together. Like, unexpected development, really. But it's a cool development, nonetheless. Like, I, I always like those moments where, like, you know, the the like the the villains join forces with the heroes. Like it, it it's it's a nice, cool, fun, twisty element in storylines like this. Of course, it makes you wonder what happens at the end of it. But uh, yeah, only one day remains before the infamous Egghead incident. However, the wheels of this tale were set into motion three months ago. Oh, so the Egghead incident has so something happened three months ago, and like, we're getting a flashback. Is that Bonnie? Yes, that's Bonnie. She's in the. She's crying. I'm thinking she's seen the memories now. Three months prior, the Holy Land. Mary Janos, this is Egghead. Come in. I want to speak to somebody with power. This is Dr. Vegapunk is researching the Void Century. CP5 agents were dispatched to this very tip, but their in inspection revealed nothing. And their shipment mysteriously disappeared as it attempted to leave Egghead. CP7 and CP8 were both deployed to shed light on the situation. However... No government ships returned from Egghead. This is, this is Egghead again. Put me through to the top brass. So someone from Egghead is talking to, 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 the Mary, to Mary and letting them know that Vegapunk was doing this. 
The conversation between the five elders and this individual totally exposed the full extent of the genius scientist treachery, and so the elders decided to order Dr. Vegapunk's assassination. It fell to Psychopool Agis Zero to execute the mission. Okay, okay, we're getting some understanding here why it's happening, but who is the traitor and why did they do this? Uh... However, the five elders anticipated that Vegapunk would resist, so they sent one of their own, escorted by Admiral Kizaru. So who's going there? They also reinforced the fleet they deployed with backup from several naval branches. So there's a bunch of guys that we're just getting introduced to. Their caution level was raised to total war intimate. So we've got like Kizaru and some four other admirals, I think, that are going there. Then the sudden and unexpected appearance of Emperor Straw Hat Luffy ship. It's so crazy to 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 read that Emperor Luffy. Like Luffy's an emperor now. Like that's insane. Like I still it's it boggles my mind like that he's reached that level now. Like that's insane. Like you you you. you <sighs> You know, part of me is like, if the anime finishes doing one, all right, it should, it should, it should sort of end there, and they should take a big fat break, and when it comes back, they should retitle it, like, like I don't know, like, like One Piece, the final saga or something, or the Emperor saga, or I don't know, like, like, uh, like it's just weird. It feel, it feels, it feel, it, it's just insane. It's just insane after so many years, like we've reached this point, like it's. <laughs> Wow, just just wow. Do you mean just wow? Um, so yeah, uh, of Emperor ships, Luffy left the government forces feeling more than a little disquieted by this complication. So we got Akainu there. Did you say Straw Hat? Uh, him again. In any case, this chain of events is going to cl cl culminate tomorrow, and the outcome will shock the world. So yeah, again, we're getting those little narrations where something big is going to happen, and it makes you think, wonder what is going to happen. Like, there's so much happening in this arc. Like, this is this this is a short arc as well. I, f I feel like, and so much is just being thrown in here, and it's insane, and it's good, and I'm loving the pacing of this. Definitely, I'm loving the pacing. I'm loving the action. I'm loving all the different character interactions. It's great. After one, or you like, you just want something fast-paced, epic, and compact and tight. And uh, yeah, we're getting that here, like, and it's great. So yeah, I think we're coming back to the Vegapunk that got, that got shot. I think Vegapunk won. What the devil? This was all you're doing. Who? Who is the traitor? Answer me. So someone's got a gun. Why are you doing this? Slide. So is the door opening? What's going on? Who's this? Oh, Stella. It's because I want to be a celestial dragon. Who? Who? And he's and 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 sh and she's t talking to Vega and calling him Stella. I don't get it. Is his name Stella Vegapunk? Is that it? Oh, Stella, it's cause I want to be a celestial dragon. Who is that? Is that one of the Vegapunks? What are you saying, York? York? I I, f I don't remember who York is. This is one of those cases where you have to reread the uh, the arc and figure out who that is. You know what Mary Genosis is like from that visit a long time ago. How could you want to be one of them after witnessing just how vile they are? He, <laughs> you sound just like Shako, uh, Shanka. What? Well, not so much now that he's uh, now he's dead. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of all the Vegapunks, right? Honestly, the world really doesn't need more than one of us. The embodiment leaves. What? So York is the traitor. I'm so confused. I don't remember who York. Wow, uh, uh, Vega Punk. Okay, one piece of Vega Punk. Let's see. It's crazy to think that, uh, uh, like, 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 like this time, like early last year, right? We didn't even know what Vega Punk looked like, and now we do. Like, it's it's so crazy. You go on, you go on his profile now, and it's like there's an image of him now. It's like there you go. So. Um, so, uh, Vega Punk 1 was called Shaka, and his aspect was good. Lilith, uh, number 2, is evil. Number 3, Edison, is thinking. Uh, number 4, pa Paphiogos, was wisdom. Number 5, Atlas, is violence. And then number 6 is, is York. So, number 6 and uh, is York, and she's greed. Okay, so she's the traitor then, greed. Yeah, that makes... I imagine everyone was like, it's Lilith! Because she's evil, or it's Atlas because she's violent, but like, no, it, it would make sense, it would be, it would be her, wouldn't it? Because greed, 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 greed trumps all, like, in, 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 this, in the, and it's not even the seven deadly sins, is it? Like, it's not even based on the seven deadly sins, like, technically speaking, so, yeah, it's, it's just an aspect, but like, still, like, um, unexpected, unexpected. 
uh, or was unexpected. I didn't even know, like, I don't even know what's going on, okay? There's so much happening, like, I wasn't really keeping track. Like, there's too many characters, okay? Too many characters. But, uh, at least we know who the traitor is now. Like, it, it didn't waste its time, like, uh, how are you calling it? Uh, I'm trying to think, what's the word? What's the word? Dragging it out. It didn't drag it out. Like, like we got the hints of a, tra of a traitor, like, a good few chapters ago, and now we know who the traitor is. So it's like, good, excellent. Keep it going, keep it going, like, mm. Oh, but yeah, we know something bad's gonna happen at the end of this arc, so that's that's that. So obviously this is gonna end in a certain way. I'm just curious uh, how it's gonna end, like... I'm, I'm very curious about that, like... What is the ending gonna be? Like, someone's gonna have to die, I think. Someone's gonna die. Question is who. I'm wondering what Bonnie found now, that's what I'm curious about. And I'm, I'm curious to see how, how this uh, relationship between Luffy... Zoro and Lu Lu uh, Luchi and Akuzu Kuzu is gonna go like is there gonna be a development that's gonna go forward with that considering they saved their lives is there gonna be sort of like okay we'll, we'll have to get even one day or something like do you mean like uh, there has to be some sort of sense of honor there like I'm hoping because I, I don't want it to be sort of one dimensional like ah you saved us and now I'm gonna stab you in the back I hope I hope there's a bit of respect and acknowledgement and honor there but it, it's Lucci. I don't think he's really an honourable guy, is he? But uh, we'll have to wait and see how it happens. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm just... Ooh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how this... What more we're going to learn from this arc. And then I'm looking forward to see where we're going to go with the story. Like, are we going to go to Elbaf or are we not? And that's another thing, guys. That's another thing. Uh, a kid is on Elbaf. And he's about to he's about to fight Shanks again. So that's, that's going on. That development's going on. And we don't know what's going on with Blackbeard. Like, last time we heard with Blackbeard, I think Grump was going there to save... Was it Colby from them and that? So yeah, a lot of, lot of things happening, a lot of things, but yeah, uh, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's a good time to be a One Piece fan, definitely. Anyway guys, that's my reaction to this. Hope you liked it. As always, like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.